What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Nasty Nate channel. Haven't had a whole lot to do to this thing recently, but today I want to show you how we are going to paint match these, you know, kind of just in my backyard with regular sandpaper. We're going to go to AutoZone and get pretty much everything we need for that. All right guys, it is a new day. Everything I wanted from AutoZone door handle wise was out of stock. Someone literally bought it like an hour or two before me, but I had to wait for them to get this in stock. So now we can get started. Basically, I'm gonna figure out how to take all this stuff apart so I can paint the inside like under here really well because I don't want it to be like all splotchy and look bad. To show you, I got sandable primer. I got the perfect match, you know, the color of my truck, which is Olympic white, also known as Summit white. Pretty sure they're the same color, but this is the paint code that matches my paint code. And then acrylic enamel gloss clear. That is what you want. You want an acrylic enamel to best match the clear coat on your vehicle. And then I got some red scotch bright. You're basically going to use this to scuff it up like sandpaper. And then we'll use the primer. So let me get these torn down and uh, we'll get to the painting part. All right, now that we got everything sanded down with the scotch bright, we are basically ready to clean them and then paint them. Just wanted to show you what it should look like compared to the old black plastic. So it's going to look really dull and you want it to look kind of scratchy. Maybe going to do these mirrors someday, but not at the moment. I don't know if I like the full paint match look, but... Right now, we're just showing you how to do the door handles. I really want to make sure you guys know how to do this at home. You can literally just go to AutoZone, get all the stuff you need for, you know, probably under 50 bucks. So let's go clean these. I'm going to use soap and water, just dish soap and water, and then uh, we'll get to it. Basically, I brought the lacquer thinner out here because I wanted to show you that you should probably not use lacquer thinner, paint thinner, acetone, anything like that on plastic parts like this because it can eat away into the plastic and start to kind of melt the plastic. And uh, if that happens, it basically takes the uh, sanding marks out. It'll basically make this plastic shiny again, and it's not really the best way to do it. So. I'm just gonna use soap and water, make sure these things get clean enough to where we can spray some primer and let's do it. All right, hopefully you guys can tell, but the primer has not filled in the textured plastic yet. So you just gotta keep spraying until we see the primer start to turn smooth and then we'll let it dry. If we need to sand it a little bit, we will with like 800 or a thousand grit hopefully not though as long as there's no runs or no any weird spots but uh we're gonna keep spraying primer until it looks perfectly smooth and then we'll be ready for color all right guys so what i got going on here is some let me see if i can get this camera to show it i don't know it's a gopro so i don't know if it'll focus like this but you can see, yeah, you can see right there, there's some kind of like either dust got in it or it's just some weird, a weird spray pattern from the spray paint can with the primer. I'm basically just taking 600 grit sandpaper and, and wet sanding those spots out. So you just want like a little tiny square like this. And I've already done this one. So you can see it's, it's a lot more smooth than the other one. Um, I'm gonna do that on this. The handle part though does not really need it because I could get a really good even coat on this. So I think I'm just gonna send this like it is and uh, spray it with white. This on the other hand, I do wanna get smooth just because I think you're gonna be able to notice this. So I let all this stuff dry for about an hour. Now it is primed and ready to go. Got my perfect match paint from AutoZone. It was, I don't know, 10 bucks a can. Actually matches really well. Just make sure you know the paint code. Good 
this is actually gonna be my fourth coat of paint right now and I'm honestly running out so this is gonna be my last coat for sure so if you have anything bigger than you know some door handles you could definitely do four four door handles maybe your tailgate handle there's just so much overspray with these things because this this thing actually sprays out really well um but if you're gonna do like mirrors fender flares stuff like that you're gonna want a couple of these cans all right these have dried for 30 minutes now we are ready to clear we're gonna do probably four coats of clear these will be completely done gonna wait about 10 minutes in between each coat and then we're gonna throw them on the truck i cannot wait to see this hopefully you guys are as excited as i am so let's get to it right now All right guys, the day has finally come. I've uh, grown some motivation to put these things in. It's gonna be super annoying to take the door panel off and mess with this from the backside. So yeah, finally actually wanted to get this done. So uh, let's put these on and see what this thing looks like. Get some sweet pictures and videos after this. And uh, hopefully this is something easy enough for you guys to do at home. So I believe I have this thing ready to go. We need an eight millimeter here, eight millimeter here, and a Torx T20 here. And then we should be able to pull the door panel off enough to get back uh, behind it. And then you have to pull this grommet off on the door jam to get to this nut for the door handle. Let's get to it. All right, we got all the nuts out. It's actually really easy. So there's one in this this top corner i basically have this sitting exactly how the other one was and then there's one that you can reach from this hole and then obviously the one in that hole so this top corner you have to use an open-ended wrench but once you get it loose you can literally reach up through here with your hand and just loosen it by hand so now we have to go like this and I believe you have to kind of push this down in order to get it out, which it's not coming out exactly. But I think what I'm just going to do is pop this clip off. See how it's clipped onto the metal rod? That is the clip that holds this door handle, and that's kind of how the door opens and closes. So I'm going to pop that plastic clip off right there and then we'll be able to just repeat this process get the white handle on there all right the door handle is off it's actually really easy the rod goes through this hole and then just clips on to this so this down here is actually the lock you can see our new handle doesn't come with it but all we do is pull out this little pin right here and this should slide out and then we'll just be able to put it in there but that's the old handle obviously with with the lock let's get that out of there and put it in the new handle get her going all right we are in business the lock is snapped in place we can throw this one on the door and see what it looks like detailers trick before you guys put this on put some rubbing compound on a microfiber and just rub around this to get all the dirt off you can keep going and it'll start to pretty much buff it out there's some clear coat scratches just from the old handle, but that looks a lot better than what it was. It was like just disgusting behind this thing. All right, we got the door handle on. It seems solid. I am going to close the door, test everything before we put the door panel on. Let's see. So it looks good. It looks like it matches. Oh God, doesn't open. Hopefully it's not locked. Good thing this side's not locked. 
Let's see if it works. Oh, it works. And we'll lock it. Lock works. Man, I'm gonna have to be really careful and not scratch this. Look, I'm already getting this thing like all crazy dirty. Sweet. This thing looks good, honestly. I'm digging that paint match door handle. This is gonna look sick. Guys, just driving down the street, looking in the mirror at the handles, like it looks so good. Here, let me, let me roll it down, get you guys a little closer. Like, check out that handle. It looks so good, it looks so good. All right, cue the edit right here. Yeah, she's got some nice long hair And you know that she's a bad chick All the boys there can't help it, it's a habit Clothes that she wears, short skirt and a jacket I just wanna get her all alone on a mattress I just wanna have it, I just gotta have it Boomers all around say her body is Alright guys, I think the paint match was a success The door handles look amazing It really does match the whole truck Super stoked about this and they did actually come out super glossy. There's a little bit of orange peel and a little specks of dust here and there, but I really can't complain too much for doing this in my backyard. And I just wanted to show you guys that you can do this in your garage, in your backyard, in your front yard, whatever. And it does not take that much skill. It's not that hard to do and it's not that expensive. So if you like this video, make sure you stay tuned to Nasty Nate for a lot more of this truck and hopefully much more very soon. Got a lot of parts ordered for this thing, so stay tuned for that and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.